Well, we can take all the time we need because we want this to be resolved properly and we want this to be fair. And it looks, I'm sure it will be, because we have now taken six minutes in this timeout and two blockers from Montreal, three blockers from Carolina. Now and while we're still in the timeout here, today's live coverage is made possible by support from the Roller Derby Business Consultants at HaveDerbyWillTravel.com. Does your Derby League have growing pains from business structure to tournament hosting, league mediation, and more? Have Derby Will Travel has your Derby business covered. From building leagues to organizing tournaments to helping run major events like RollerCon, the experts at Have Derby Will Travel have been there making it happen behind the scenes with over 17 years of combined experience at the top levels of Derby production, leadership, marketing, and business. And here we go. This is the epic jam of the epic game. Let's see. Oh, she's forced into the back. This is not a good time to get a penalty. And holy one to crack it gets lead jammer status. Huh? And smack daddy is right on her tail. Whoa, and Whoa. She, wow, she tripped on herself. This is very unusual. Let's see if Smack Daddy is right there with her. She's going to try and bring her to a stop. But now the defense for Carolina is going to try oh. and let her out. And she does. She gets four points. Big whip, Carolina. Which gives her one point. Oh, my God. Does that mean that they've won? Somebody's getting sent no. to the penalty box to smack daddy. What the hell? She, what is going on? She, she stopped the clock. And no. There are hand signals saying no. Did this count? <laughs> Holy one to crack you. Definitely making this jam her own saying, hey, I made four points. Give me my four points. And the girls from Montreal saying no, 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 no. Oh, well, look at that. We're going to have a timeout. Time out on the track. The officials are double checking the score. Oh, sheer, utter mayhem, pandemonium, derby, crazy that's going on right now. Now, did she make those four points or not? And we are about to find out <laughs> as I have no nails left on my fingers. Oh, goodness. I'm telling you, this is. This is a crazy one. Stay tuned here, folks. And it All right, looks... So the, oh! So it's changing. And right now, Montreal 125, Carolina 127. Is this final? Right now, it looks like Carolina might have taken it. And <laughs> oh, Holly Winter Track is taken to her knees on the track. I think she's sending up some prayers to the Derby gods to make these points stick. But Coach Rev with his rainbow and Jess Bandit, the team captain, is are arguing that perhaps these points didn't count. I wonder. Well, if anybody is the star of this game, it's got to be Holy Wanna Crack You. <laughs> yes. Holy yes, cow. Indeed. Holy cow. Holy Wanna Crack You. She has taken this game and she has put it in her back pocket. And now she just might have won it for Carolina. Mm -hmm. The confusion about the final point count, folks. If you didn't know, that's what's going on right now. Not sure if the score, if Smack scored, if Holly scored, how many she scored. We're still waiting for an official word here. And the girls from Carolina are trying to send some vibes over to the uh, officials. <laughs> trying to influence them with some funny hand gestures. And Professor Murder, the head ref, I think is explaining... Where are these points are coming from? And the assistant coach, Peter Pantes, doesn't seem to agree with them. I tell you, those fabulous rainbow outfits are very intimidating. Oh! And Carolina, Carolina takes it! 
Carolina takes it in an upset over the new skids on the block by two points. The fanny pack, the praying to the Derby gods, all worked. There are boos coming from the crowd here in the Westchester County Center about the call. This is the first upset of the championship. Oh my goodness. A heartbreaker here. So it looks like that is indeed the final score. What is posted? Carolina 127, Montreal 125. In this last bout of the night, day two, Eastern Regional Tournaments. Hosted by Suburbia Roller Derby here in Westchester County. Well, folks, we got the final word from the officials. Carolina has taken their victory hug. That must mean it is time for us to sign off. Patrick, it has been a pleasure announcing with you yet again. Not only was it the greatest game, but you are the greatest partner. Oh, thank you very much. Yes. I appreciate that. I have the to say Bulldog missed out on one hell of a game. He <laughs> ran the first half, but you know what? The second half takes the cake, and with you, it was even sweeter. Ah, oh, you're a darling. <laughs> and I am Lady O, voice of the Boston Derby Dames. Plastic Patrick, voice of the Montreal New Skids on the Block. And we will see you right back here on Derby News Network for more Derby action tomorrow. Bonsoir.